Hello everyone, my name is Droogy Forever, and today we're playing the demo for Little Orpheus. Um, Little Orpheus is not out on PC yet, it is out on Apple Arcade, I believe. Uh, but the game is coming to PC and consoles, and they've put out a demo on Steam so we can try it out before it gets here. This normally is not my kind of game, I don't play a lot of 2D stuff, but um, it's made by the Chinese room. One of my favorite developers. So I'm going to play it. Um, they did Dear Esther. Uh, Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. And my personal favorite game that they've done, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Three years ago, geez. All right, A or D to move left and right. Okay. He seems hurt. Ivan Ivanovich, can describe little obvious to me. Of, of course. <laughs> it was uh, large and round and had something of a disagreeable smell. I was referring to its technical specification. Well, General, I, I am no man of science, but it had this uh, radio thing that I was supposed to use to let the surface know I had arrived. And uh, some sort of battery wrapped in this red box. But I was told to not touch anything under any circumstances. And I did notice the engineers who worked on it were quite a shifty bunch. The little Orpheus device contained a radio transmitter capable of sending a signal through miles of solid rock. In order to boost this, a powerful energy source was required. An atomic bomb, comrade Preval. An atomic bomb that you have lost somewhere below the Earth's crust. Ah, uh, yes, that bomb. <laughs> of course, General. I can explain everything, but it is a long and uh, somewhat complicated story. And let me assure you, this is not a case of milking chickens. But you won't understand where your bomb and little Orpheus has ended up unless I start at the very beginning. You let me tell you where I've been for the last three years. From the beginning, then. But this had better be good. Good, General. It's more than good. It's extraordinary. And it began like this. When I was listing the Chinese room's accomplishments, I think I forgot So Let Us Melt, which was a Google Daydream project that they did. Um, 
part of the charm of their games is the music. Uh, Jessica Curry does most of the music, and she's amazing. The soundtrack for Everybody's Gone to the Rapture is phenomenal. I mean, it, it is so much better than almost any other video game soundtrack. This must be the fabled land of Plutonia, as documented by the brilliant scholar Obrachev. A trail of destruction carved by the rocket room led down into the wild and mysterious jungle. The rocket drill itself must have snapped in half somewhere below Kamchatka. And little Orpheus bounced out and became lost in that prehistoric forest. If I was ever to get home, my mission was clear. To find little Orpheus. I steeled myself and plunged deeper into that prehistoric jungle. Were insects the size of dogs buzzed around. Dogs? What sort of dogs? I beg your pardon, General? Large dogs or small dogs? Big like an alchaka or small like a barlonka? Does it really matter? Of course. Detail is all important. Alchaka, then, General. The size of an alchaka. I find that very hard to believe. Would you find it easier if they were the size of a barlonka? No. But I am enjoying your attempts to persuade me. Another part of the rocket room, but still no sign of little Orpheus. Uh, I'm about to get squashed. Yep. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go here. I'm going up, apparently. Okay, it started me all the way back to the beginning. That's not cool. I don't like that. Don't make me repeat the whole thing. That's stupid. Another part of the rocket room. But still no sign of little Orpheus. Get down, get down. Control. and more ancient than any known to our modern times. Could it be that Obrachev was right? And deep below the Earth's surface, prehistoric monsters still roam freely. Yes, yes, but little Orpheus. Oh, shit. Okay, I got it. Oh shit. Oof. Where 
Where is it at? Lizard intent on making a snack of me was none other than the most awful of the monsters, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, now you are an expert on dinosaurs. Oh, hardly an expert, General. Just educated by the best schools in the world, like all good socialists. And I remembered one crucial thing. I listened. Well, uh, its greed is without bottom. Hunger is ferocious, but its brain is absolutely tiny. So it can roar and roar as much as it likes, but it will never be a match for the sharpened mind of the good Soviet worker. All I needed was a plan. Out with the monster. Okay, so the thing I was worried about with Little Orpheus when I first heard about it is the thing I'm still concerned with here. And that is and surprised to find in that clearing the last part of the rocket drill. More shocking was the fact it had been ransacked. Someone had made off with the tools, the weapons, the rations, and the spare parts for the Pragyev. Play. Perhaps Little Orpheus was not lost at all, but stolen. All I could do was follow the trail further into Putonia. So yeah, the thing that worried me about this game when I first heard about it, and knowing that it was made for Apple Arcade, was I worried it would be too simple. It looked just like run and jump, and that's it. And so far, that actually appears to be the case. That's... It's just run and jump. There's nothing else to it. There's not even collectibles. It's There's nothing else to the game. I mean, there's a slide mechanic, but there's nothing else. So we all agree this was the fabled land of Plutonia, do we? I don't remember accepting that. I will admit it might not have been Plutonia if you are prepared to accept the dinosaur. This isn't a negotiation, Ivan. Well, I don't think you can disagree all you like, but there's what the? little you can do to persuade me it wasn't a dinosaur. Is that not what I'm supposed to? Okay. I jumped right at it, and then he just went right through it.
hid in an egg? Yes, General. I hid in an egg. I am glad to hear your military training was not wasted. If only I had a single legion of men as brave and ingenious as you, with only a hundred men equipped with eggs to hide in, we could roll across Europe in a day. General, are you mocking me? You are as sharp as you are brave, Talani. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can jump up from this side. Okay. Because he wouldn't jump up from the other side. That's why I was like, am I supposed to jump on this? Held control. Thank you. believe it I still struggle to believe it a whole lost city buried in that jungle deep below the crust of the earth who would have thought it was possible who indeed guess I should have went under that first shame you didn't think to record the moment for posterity and help us all to get over our disbelief but I did general I did my training was excellent and I immediately took out my Kamsamoliets and began to document all I could. Where is this camera now, then? Ah, General, yes. <laughs> w what, of course, I, I meant to say was my training was excellent, and I immediately reached for my camera, only to realize it must have been torn from my utility belt in the crash and lost forever in that forgotten jungle. I 
tremendous beast had returned and was hungry as an elephant. Perhaps it was angry it had been fooled by an egg-wearing idiot. That is unkind, General. It may have been small of brain, but it was grand of stature. Whereas you, Ivan Ivanovich, are lacking in both departments. Presuming there were no more eggs to hide in, did you have a new plan? I did, General. Please, do tell me, what was this brilliant plan? I ran like hell, General. Intrepid yet doomed hero survived the jaws <clears throat> of a ferocious dinosaur. Will he meet his end miles underground as an aperitif for a ravenous raptor? What dark secrets could be buried in the lost city of Agatha? Will the general ever discover the location of his lost bomb? All of these questions and more will be answered in the next exciting episode of Little Orpheus. All right, well, there you go. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Release date March 1st. All right, so we can't play the rest yet. Okay. So anyway, that's Little Orpheus. All right, it's exactly what I thought it was. It's too simple for me. I mean, I, you know, I love the Chinese room. They make fantastic games, but this, I feel like, was kind of a misstep but that that's my opinion and but that's mainly because i loved everybody's gone to the rapture so much and amnesia machine for pigs even though it wasn't as good as dark descent um in a lot of in a lot of different ways but it, it had a great story and everybody's gone to the rapture a, a lot of people don't realize this there is so much in that game there is like radios and TVs and there's there's all these lights you can follow and unlock in different parts of the story. It's it's tons of side quests and things that people don't even realize are there. There's achievements for doing the craziest shit like moonwalking and just sitting and watching stuff, waiting for drinks at the two different bars, like uh, finding all the graffiti, riding the witch's hat. There, there's so much. It's so complicated people don't realize how much work was put into that game and this one is just too simple it's just there's nothing to it it's i get it it's kind of funny and there's some intense moments but for the most part you're just running left to right i mean that's the whole game it's you know disappointing i guess is all i'm gonna say that that's a little orpheus i hope you enjoyed it if you did tell that like button you want to smash and don't forget to subscribe you stay you i'll stay me droogie forever thank you everybody so much for watching i really appreciate it i'll see you in the next video later